few weeks back, we asked our followers a theme for our next video. Dominika Malkova suggested we use interpretations of a poem. And for those interpretations, we were going to do diptychs to Edna St. Vincent Millay's City Trees. The poem is called City Trees. The trees along the city street, save for the traffic and the train, would make a sound as thin and sweet as trees in country lanes, and people standing in their shade out of a shower undoubtedly would hear such music as is made upon a country tree. Oh, little leaves that are so dumb against the shrieking city air, I watch you when the wind has come. I know what sound is there. In my photos, I tried to show Malay's point that the trees are still trees, even in the chaos of a busy city. And those same trees serve the same purpose as trees in the country, to produce beautiful music with their leaves that she knows is there even if it is lost in the noise of the city. set of images, I put the double exposure of the leaves and the stone with this image of the branches growing across the frame with the building and the crane in the back, like an almost natural double exposure. The bags caught in the tree add a little irony to the image as well. A product of the city around it was producing its own music by flapping in the branches. These images are my favorite. They show that these trees are used by the people of the city to stand in their shade, to stay dry, as Malay says, or to carve an exit, as someone has done to this one. For the final stanza, I simply paired the trees to their building counterparts. The last lines of the poem, I watch you when the wind has come, I know what sound is there, fits these images well. You can picture the sound that these big trees would make when they're covered in leaves blowing against the shrieking city air, as Malay puts it. This poem can be interpreted many ways, and my interpretation will probably even differ from Knox's, but this is my understanding of the poem, and is the reason for why I captured the photos I did. For this project, I'm including three diptychs, one to represent each stanza. In the first stanza, Edna writes how the city trees are overpowered by the noise and bustle of the city. She's relating the organic essence of trees to a sound or music that could be heard, save for the loud city streets. In the second stanza, she's explaining how the trees are overseen as living things and instead seen as another lifeless component of the city. The trees are used for cover from the rain or sun, but still their sound isn't heard like it is in the country. In the final stanza, she's showing that she sees the trees for what they are as living pieces of the city. I know what sound is there. 